Namaste. Welcome to Easy Ayurveda. I am Dr. Sudarshan. Today's question is, why should you fast? When should fasting be done? Whenever a cell or a tissue is weak or damaged, it starts sending signals to other parts of the body to notify of a danger. For example, if one falls and has a leg injury, the weak and injured tissues in and around the injury start sending signals to other parts of the body. This response by the injured cells triggers an inflammation. With inflammation, the body starts getting rid of the damaged cells and waste tissues and starts a healing process. This is a natural process that happens in all of us. With aging, some of the body cells become very weak. They start dividing but do not die. Such cells are termed as senescent cells. These weak and damaged cells naturally create inflammatory chemicals such as cytokine. This causes sudden inflammation in the body leading to redness, increase of temperature, body ache etc. This inflammatory response is created by those weak senescent cells but there is no actual reason for inflammation in the body. The body is otherwise healthy but because of these weak senescent cells the inflammation is caused. The solution to this is fasting once in a while. When we fast, the body is in need of energy but because there is no food to digest and assimilate, the body starts to self destruct its own tissues in order to find the source of energy from them. This process is called autophagy. When the body starts self degradation, the senescent cells will be destroyed first because these cells are already very weak. So, when senescent cells are broken down by our own body, the unnecessary inflammation created by these old weak cells stops. Whatever the cell structures that are drawn out of these dead senescent cells are recycled by the body as a source of energy. In Ayurveda, this is beautifully explained in the treatise Ashtanga Hridaya Chikitsa Sthana, 10th chapter. 91st verse as Ahara Magnihi Pachati Dosha Nahara Varjitaha Dhatun Kshineshu Dosheshu Jeevitam Dhatu Sankshe Agni or digestive fire digests the food. In the absence of food, as in fasting, it digests the doshas or weakened cells. But when the doshas are also digested, if fasting is still continued, then the Agni digests the dhatus or healthy tissues. When the dhatus become depleted, it cuts short the life itself. Here, the doshas can be understood as inflammatory toxin producing senescent cells. This also gives a clear hint that fasting is good, but it should not be overdone. This is why in Hindu custom, we fast on the 11th day of a 15 day cycle called Ekadashi and also on certain festivals such as Shivaratri and Navaratri. This shows that fasting is good to be practiced two to three times in a month. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more about Ayurveda, please visit easyayurveda.com.